Alan Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo! Baby Flo! <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Alan Taylor will win. She's riding an amazing horse out of Baby Flo. One of the babies for Baby Flo. Hello to the Flo. Hello, Flo. Hush money. Hush money. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. Behind us, Alex is doing a little dirt makeover, so get ready for a lot more videos from home. We're doing so many, so much stuff and things back here. I'm super excited because Journey to the Juvenile is still rocking and rolling. I hope that you guys have caught up on all of those episodes of the documentary of our journey of taking a whole bunch of untrained three-year-olds to going all the way to the big show, The Barrel Fraternity of America in November. We're getting close. October 29th is the next episode. So if you aren't already caught up on all of that, make sure and go back to my channel. Check out episodes one, two, and three so you can be completely caught up because huge announcements are coming soon. It's time for us to go to another incredible event. This one is going to be the Pink Buckle, actually the same place where the BFA is going to take place in Guthrie, Oklahoma at the world-renowned Lazy E Arena. This place is so gorgeous. The ground is good. This event is just top-notch. There's a restaurant above where you can watch people barrel race all day and night. I don't know, it's just like barrel racer Woodstock. Every great trainer you've ever seen, every great aged event horse is going to be there. We're so excited, but this time is a little bit different because I'm not riding my own horses. Now, why would I not ride my own horses at Pink Buckle? Well. The Pink Buckle was established in 2018. My finished rodeo horses were born 2014 and 2015. That being said, they were still three and four. I wasn't really planning on fraternitying. And when the Pink Buckle first came out, its emphasis was on fraternities. And I thought, well, there's no need to enroll them because I'm gonna miss all of those years anyway, so no big deal. I didn't foresee, I don't think anybody did, $4 million at one event and 400,000 of that being allocated to the open. So I need to get my horses nominated. Now, thankfully, the team at Pink Buckle came up with the Pink Premier, which is a way that you can get your horses nominated that have never been nominated. So Flowbot and Hush Money are not nominated and are going to run at this event. But the catch is, the big caveat, is it has to be somebody that has never competed at the Pink Buckle before. That takes me out. That takes Cody out. So we called in our friend Laura Lee Ward, who is from Colorado, who currently is campaigning Jerry, Flo Rari. She's got a bunch of them. We trust her with our horses, and she's going to come down and compete in my place for some of the Pink Premier money. We're going to watch her compete. We're going to watch Cody compete on Mojo. It's two rounds of action. Laura Lee has been on these horses one time prior to hauling to this event, so let's see how she does. First up is Hush Money. That was just gorgeous. They fit like a glove. Laura Lee is such a hand and we're so grateful for her. Next up is Laura Lee on Flowbot. I feel like I jinxed her. Flobot comes back really hard on the backside of the second and third. I said, don't forget to lift your leg because he comes back. Remember, she's only been on him one time at my house and she caught the second and third. Dang it, it was so beautiful. Really competitive times. 17-4 on Hush Money, 17-5 on Flobot. Now it's time for Cody and Mojo. All right, Cody and Mojo, they never miss. I don't think they've ever been to a Pink Buckle event where they haven't taken home thousands of dollars. Let's see Cody and Mojo run right now. All right, a 177 and Cody walks away with a cool $6,000. Now it's time for round two. All right, Laura Lee has decided that this purple shirt is her lucky shirt, but this is round two. So here she goes on Hush Money. All right, 
another gorgeous run, and now it's time for Flowbot. And dang it, once again, he came back a little bit too hard on the back side of the barrels. She rode him so beautifully. There was no mistake that she made. I'm so proud, so grateful. Thank you for helping me get my horses nominated and making them look really good in the process. All right, now it's time for Cody and Mojo round two. <music> Okay, Cody and Mojo, two tenths faster this round, but that landed her smack dab in the middle of everything, taking home zero dollars for this run, but making an improved run, which we always love. So it was a very successful trip. It was hard for me to just be the alley help, but I am so grateful to see my friends ride amazing fast horses and do really well. Now it's time for us to have an emotional moment. This is a really last minute hair trigger idea of mine. I am gonna take Baby Flo to an AQHA show. I decided last minute that I was gonna load her in the trailer. One, I wanted to make sure that we brought every horse that we could in our six horse trailer. And two, she's just been giving me the look. If you've ridden a really great performance horse ever in your life, they give you a look and they get really sad and depressed when they are not involved and not actively competing. Baby Flo is only 17 years old. There's been so many barrel horses go to the NFR that are much older than that. She's sound, she's great, but she is retired in the pasture. I'm gonna put her in the trailer and I promise you, we're not gonna do anything fast, but it may just make you tear up a little bit. We're gonna take baby flow through. Now the rule says, if I attend four AQHA shows and make the barrel pattern, that I will get a qualification to the world show. So my plan here is if I decide halfway through the year to leg her up for one run, I'm gonna do it at the world show because it's such an honor to run at the event. The ground is good. It's close to home and it's a place that Baby Flo really likes to compete. So if I decide next year, I can spend a little bit more time on that. But since she's out of shape, this is as fast as we're gonna go. Here we go. Ready or not. Gonna find you and take it slowly. Ready or not, here I come. super emotion. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run Flowbot, try to suck up the tears, run one of Baby Flo's progeny and see how we do.
Well, I'm super stoked to say that Flowbot and I won the 1D and we got a qualification nod for the World Show for 2024. So I'm really, really excited about that. Now here is me and Chuck Norris. Second in the 2D for me and Chuck, I changed the bit in the parking lot and should have never done that. Don't ever do that, learn from me. And here goes Hush Money for a run with me and let's see how we do. Well, a huge thank you to the Sea Hang and Sea for providing these shows that we can get to early enough in the year that we can actually get qualified for the world show. So a huge thank you to Leah and the entire team. We're gonna hit one more jackpot. We're on the jackpot trail. You guys, it is like 75 degrees out here with a breeze. And I know that we've been together all summer where it's been 110, some days 120 with the heat index, where we have not been able to enjoy ourselves or our animals. Is the sprinkler behind me gonna get me? Yeah. It feels good. So we are actually going to take advantage of all of this weather. Lolo is still out with an injury. She's coming back strong though. So I'm going to max out the opportunity to ride all the other horses that we have finished and ready to go. You guys, let's go to White Wright, Texas to the Kings Trail Cowboy Church Arena. We're going to make some fast runs. First up is Cody and Mojo. Let's see how they do. It's another solid, gorgeous 1D run for Cody and Mojo. Now it's time for me and Chuck Norris. for fourth in the 1D with an 18.3. Me and Chuck Norris are getting our stuff together. Woo, that is some water. Now it's time for me and Flobot to try our hand again, but this time in white, right? Yeah, go, go, go. Nice. Yeah, go, go, go. with an 18.037. I'm super stoked to have this big boy home from on the road where he spent all summer with Jimmy Smith. She did a fantastic job, placed at lots of rodeos and brought me back a horse that I can go back to having fun on. So I am super, super grateful for her taking such impeccable care of him. And I'm gonna go have some more fun on him. Super excited to be going to Congress for an appearance. This is a big deal and emotional for a lot of reasons. One, in 2018, my mom's wish was to go to Oklahoma City and she wanted me to do well there and I won the world and I handed her the trophy and she said I think I meant Quarter Horse Congress but you did really great sweetie and so we have like thanks for a good time sweetie um, because that's what she said when she left um, above our office like framed because it's just really funny that that's what she meant so we are going to Congress, which she always wanted to go to. So next year, I might run there. I've got the entries on my to-do list already for 2024. It You have to enter it so early in the year. And also, a lot of these quarter horse things happen um, in the peak of Cowboy Christmas. So the complete opposite, where like everything rodeo wraps up in the fall, everything quarter horse wraps up mid-summer when our stuff is just taking off. So it slips my mind every year. So next year, it's a maybe, 
but I'm going to do a meet and greet. Alex is driving right now. Brand is asleep right here and we are making our way to Columbus, Ohio. We are going to be making a meet and greet um, moment at Mandy's Custom Tack, who is carrying a lot of tactical and a lot of ranch dressing. So I'll be very excited to see. I don't know if there's a ton of people that will be there or if this is gonna be a really small meet and greet. I'm not really sure, but I'll take you along with us. So let's go. After coming in just to like check this place out before we have a meet and greet tomorrow, I drove in the back. That was the first bad move. And just not asking anyone where to go yeah, it's, hasn't worked well. It's, this is intimidating, and I feel like on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited I would be to enter this next year, I'm at a, a negative 3 right now. Because <laughs> this looks like absolute intimidation and chaos. Here's more. This is a lot. Six plates, winning $100, six plates in the NSV, another $100. Congratulations, that's number 3602 HB Assure Machine. All by Joe Price and Marianne Hyde. Oh, that's pretty sick. Eating good place, weighing $120, good place in the NSBA. Okay, this is it, right? It's so cool. You want to go in and see? Fourth place. Okay, Alex is on dad duty for the next three hours. I hate when you vlog like this because it looks like your hat's on backwards. My hat's not on backwards, by the way. Look, two horse living quarters. It's kind of cool. It's dope. There's lots of stuff and things here. Again, the, the sun is out. Uh oh, we found tractors and skid steers. The sun is out. And I'm still intimidated by this place. Okay, well these are giving Disney and I'm here for it, but they don't run while you're, while this show is going on. Again, just super intimidating. Celeste Center has a bunch of showing going on, but that's not the Coliseum. There's a Coliseum. There's Puppy Alley that we just passed that we clearly don't need to go into. There's some more stuff over here. I don't know. If you are a person that also gets a little, if you're a person that gets a little bit pukey in crowd situations, you'll totally empathize with me because I am fully about to vomit. It's fine. I've done this for a long time. It's going to be fine. We're going to find them. We're not going to throw up on our way. It's going to be fine. on the saddle sack, on ranch dressing, on tactical. You guys, insane amounts of stuff is coming as we head into the burr months, coming into the holiday season. Tactical is coming out with our cloud relief technology cinches that are equipped with easy clean. These are the best cinches ever. If you guys saw our tooled leather handmade cinches that went viral on TikTok and sold out in 30 minutes, you will know how urgent it will be for you to get on the website and get the style you like. We have so many flavors, Wildflower, Braden, we have Lexi. We have so, so many different options of this one, but they are going to sell out so fast. How cute is that? See, that's us right there. Stay tuned for a lot more. Go head over to tactical.com. Make sure to use code Fallon and you are going to get a discount at checkout. Thank you guys so much for checking out this vlog and being with us through all of these fun times. Make sure to go check out Journey to the Juvenile on October 29th. A brand new episode will be headed your way. As always, don't forget to count your blessings, stay consistent, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. I came from a non-horse background and wanted to be a professional barrel racer. Now I'm excited to say I am a world champion, but it was a long road to get here and I learned a ton of lessons. I got swindled, taken, had mentors lead me wrong, and now I want to make something so that you don't have to. 
30 plus years of experience have been put in my horse boss's dashboard for hours and hours of lessons in specific categories like hitting barrels, alley issues, when to enter, training your horse, and many, many more. Please join us today. You will not regret it.